All praises to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Brakatho Yahweh, Brakatho Yahweh Shai. Brakatho Yahweh, Brakatho Yahweh Shai. Brakatho Yahweh, Brakatho Yahweh Shai. Kal Halal Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai. Bahasham Raka Kadash. I give honors, double honors to our apostles of Great Millstone and to our brothers out there on the highways and byways teaching his truth in sincerity <clears throat> and to our sincere brothers and sisters out there learning this ministry yes shalom brothers and sisters you know i've got some old news here but it's still going to be edification remember you remember a couple of weeks ago maybe even three weeks ago where 128 nations opposed the u.s recognizing Jerusalem as Israeli capital, right? Remember that, that was a couple of weeks ago. Now, you can see, it's about giving a gift. You know, this is what I wanna talk about by, when somebody gives you a gift, it doesn't mean that is, there is a good intention with it. It doesn't mean that all the time. It can mean a good intention, but there can be a bad intention. Right? Like the devil. When the devil gives you something, right? They do it for a reason. To gain something down the line. Right? So here's an example, right? In inscriptions in, in <clears throat> sorry, in Sirach twenty and twenty nine. Right? Sirach twenty and twenty nine. Presents and gifts. Blind the eyes of the wise and stop up his mouth that he cannot reprove so when somebody gives you a gift right therefore they could do evil and this and you just don't you keep a blind eye you turn away right so that's what happened with trump right with donald trump i'm just using this as an example and you see how this marries up with the scriptures that's why these scriptures are so beautiful and true it marries up with the scriptures. Everything in this book marries up to life. Right? Now, just because, right, 128 nations opposed, right, what he had said about the, the Jerusalem, right, as Israel being the capital, right, he decided to cut them off, cut off all aid. Right. So in other words, he would tell you, he would give you some, so basically he said to them, okay, I give you these things, I help you and everything, right? But side of me. Anything I say, do not say nothing against me. Indirectly. That's how it goes. That's how the devil works. Smooth. He gives you things. But there's something behind, there's a hidden agenda. Right? So that's what happened. Right? So basically he gives them gifts. And in other words, you must keep quiet, right? So let me give you a scripture here. First Peter's eight and five. Let me put that away. First Peter's eight and five. That's why when, when people give you things, you have to watch out, right? Not all the time, don't get, don't get me paranoid, don't be paranoid, right? Look at this, 1 Peters 5 and 8. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion, walketh about seeking who he may devour. Right? So what these devils do, they, they have a long plan, they plan, they plan ahead. Right? Evil thoughts plan ahead. Right? So therefore, he goes to the, 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 the poor people. That's what he does. He goes to poor people. He starts with the poor people and uses his, 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 his ways to try to get over them, to win them over, right? And the poverty-stricken countries would listen to him and goes, oh, he's kind, but he has a hidden agenda, right? So therefore, you have to be sober-minded. In life, period, you have to be sober-minded. Minded. It is so beautiful when a brother... Or a sister comes to you from their heart and give you something, not in return. They will not ask you for nothing in return. 
right? Because I tell you how the Most High works, right? You could be giving to a brother or certain brothers or sisters every time, and they don't, you don't get nothing in return. Don't look for nothing in return from those people. The way the Most High works, if he sees that you're sincere, what he does, you will get blessings from other sources, right? So don't think that, oh, because I give Mr. Mr. Stevens, oh, I give him money all the time. Take it out of your mind, give him with your heart, give him with love, give him with charity, right? And forget about it. And don't expect anything back from that person. It doesn't go that way, right? Your blessings can come back in other things. It doesn't have to be money. It could be monetary things. It could be anything, right? The mere fact you're eating food, that's a blessing coming back onto you, right? So if you give something, do not expect it back from that person. What Trump did, he gives them gift, right? And because they don't agree with him, right? He's going to cut them off. That was deceitful, man, right? And that's deceitful. I'm going to tell you why. I'll tell you why that's deceitful. Right, Psalms 113. No, sorry, it's like Psalms 111. And verse 3. Let me get that. Right. Psalms. Let me get it. Here it is. Where are you? Come on. Right. Psalms 111 verse 3. His work is honorable and glorious and his righteousness endure forever. You hear that? Right? He honors his word. He honors his word. Yahweh Basham Yosha never lies. Right? When he says something, he means it. When he says something, he means it. Right? He's honorable to his word. Glorious with it. Right? When he says something he's going to do, he's going to stay, uh, stick behind it full stop. There's no turning back. Right? And, and, and his righteousness endure forever. So whenever he's honorable with his word, in all righteousness, right? It stays there. It stays there forever and ever and ever and ever. No reaper, nothing behind it. Yes? No hidden agenda. So when a fucking devil comes to you, right? It could be anyone. Right? It could be anyone. It could be Israel. But the devil most of all, we talk about the devil. When the devil is comes to you and gives you something, do not think this, do not think that all the time that is 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 honorable, glorious, righteous, right? Because this could be a hidden agenda behind it. So when you give, do not give to receive from that same person. Right? No, I'm not being a hypocrite. Obviously, if you help a person a hundred times, you know, over the years, and you never ask nothing in return, you might, you know, you might just naturally go to them and ask them, can you do me a little favor? Right? I'm not being a hypocrite. You know, you like your little help, right? But do not make it that your main objective to say, okay, I'm going to give, give that person just one day because I know I'm going to be in a situation, I'm going to need something. I'm going to go right back to them. Right? Don't look at it that way, right? Don't look at it that way. Um, Proverbs 29. Proverbs 29. Mark it here. Proverbs 29, verse 1 and 2. Right? He that being often reproved harden his neck shall suddenly be destroyed and without 